Let's take a look at problem 6D in chapter 1 of Pagano. Now we're trying to figure out the various elements of this study, the independent variable, the dependent variable, the sample, the population, the data, and the statistic. Now this is a, an interesting example, and I'm assuming that you've read the paragraph describing this. If uh, technically this is just a correlational study, it's not going to show um, uh, causation because it's not an experiment. We've, we've got uh, two variables that we're interested in are the educational level of people and their salaries. But we can be pretty sure that we're looking at a, uh, we're thinking that education influences salary. So if we wanted to um, define what our, our model is, we could say that our model is the, the following. It's the idea that education, and in this case we're looking at whether people that don't have any more than a high school graduation, whether they actually graduated or not, made a difference, influences salary. And we're going to assume that education influences salary and not your salary influences your education. Another possibility that will be seen is it could be a third factor that influences both of them. For example, like cognitive ability, which undoubtedly does influence both one's educational level and one's salary. So let's assume this causal model, that it's uh, education causes salary. And so now we need to figure out what's the independent variable and what's the dependent variable. Remember, the independent var variable always causes first. That's what, that's what can act independently. And then the dependent variable is going to be dependent on the independent one. So the independent variable is uh, finishing uh, high school or not. So we can call it a high school diploma, whether people have a high school diploma or not. And the dependent val variable is a salary. Now the sample, the sample was kind of uh, unique for this one because it said it's part of a national study, but they're just looking at the people in this town, and they're only looking at people that do not have high school, do not have any education beyond high school. So the sample was 200 people in the town in question, none of whom have more than uh, a high school education. So it's a, it's a very specific group. Now the population, we want to be able to uh, make a conclusion about this. We know it's part of a national study, so if we included everybody in the, the study, the national study it would be all Americans who don't have more than a high school education. But I would say that this is for uh, the population here. We can say this is for uh, it's all people in this town or similar towns who don't have more than a high school education. Because if it's similar towns would probably have a, a similar difference in salaries for the, the two groups. The data is the information that's been collected. And so we have the data involves 200 people, or 200 salaries, not 200 people, 200 salaries, 100 in each group. And the, st the statistic We've got two statistics. We've got the average for the group without a, uh, that didn't get a diploma, and the salaries for those who did get a diploma. So we, we can say that the statistic is a salary, the salary, average salary, average salary for each of the two groups. And there, we've completed. Chapter 1, question 6D.